Hi, today I'm going to present you my first experiment on Ghidra. And from the first impression, I saw that it's a very impressive tool. It's easy, simple, clear, and powerful. You will see during the video presentation how great tool it is. Before I dive into the experiment, let me do a small introduction for the people who don't understand the meaning of reverse engineering. Let's say we have a small program, a small Hello World program writ written with C. Once we compile it, the compiler will generate an assembly code. And after that, the assembler will convert this assembly code to machine code or byte code. The byte code will be executed in the CPU. The reverse engineering is the process of converting this machine code to a code readable by human being. For example, here, the reverse engineering is the process of converting this byte code to a C code. To do this task, we need a tool. Our tool is Ghidra. So Ghidra will help you convert a software. Let's say you have uh, an executable, a .exe software. Once you execute it, it will load in memory on the form of bytecode. So it will be loaded in the CPU in the form of bytecode. Ghidra will take this bytecode. So Ghidra, it will take this bytecode and convert it back to C code. So this is our first target in this experiment. Please subscribe to our channel because there is much more experiments to come and subscribe to our telegram where I am giving much more details to the followers and don't forget to like our videos and comment it to help us and to push us to continue in our work. So let's begin. So first of all, we will download uh, Ghidra. Uh, I will leave you the link down below in the description to use it uh, for download and installation. We press download from GitHub. And we download the latest link. Uh, nine days ago. So I will leave it now to download and I will return and I will return back to you. Once it is installed, I will uh, unzip it to uh, any location in your computer, you can unzip it. So once you unzip it to your location, you clicked on the batch file .bat and it will run by itself. Let me tell you, if you don't have the JDK in your uh, machine, you need to install the JDK. I will leave you the link to, the, uh, to install JDK in the description down below. So this is the integrated, integrated development environment for uh, Ghidra. This is it. So, uh, as I told you, you need the JDK to be installed. I will leave you the link down below. So, now we need to create a new project, file new project. I leave it uh, non shared project. Now, I need to, uh, uh, to specify the location of my project. So, I will make my project here and I will create a folder. For this project, I will call it RPC Technology and I will name it the compiler 
underscore one. And our first project is now created. Now I need to download a small software to crack it and to use it uh, in my project. So I will leave you the link to the software uh, down below the description. I will download it and unzip it inside of RPC technology project. I will create a folder called crack me and uh, the, this software, it will be uh, installed there. It will be unzipped there. The password to unzip the software is usually the name of the website, crackmes.one. So now let's import this software, file import file, and I will go to the location where I unzipped this software. I unzipped inside of RPC technology, inside of crackme. And I will down, uh, I will double click it, and I will leave everything as it is. Okay. I will allow access. Here there is some uh, specifications about this software. After the import is finished, I will double click the software, and Ghidra is loading it. I will press yes to analyze it. Here, I will uh, check the decompile parameter ID. I will just check it. I will press apply and analyze. And as you see here, the assembly code is loaded in the view. Also the decompiler and all the attributes and the byte code also, it will be loaded here in Gitra. In the symbol tree, you will see all the existing functions of this software. As all you have to do is to click these functions and you will see it in the decompiler. Now I want the main function. This is the main function. The entry point of my uh, software is the most important function. So I will check this function as you see in the decompiler. The main function is there. You can load the bytecode window like that. And you can, uh, this is the byte code of our software. You can also add it to the listings and you can toggle now between the listings view and the byte code view that way. This is the main function loaded in the decompile view window. Uh, I will rewrite it uh, in a more readable way uh, to become a true C uh, main function. So I will just uh, edit the function and I will make it a C function, a traditional C function. This software uh, is a Linux software. I will not uh, I will not run it because my uh, machine is Windows 10, operating under Windows 10, and the software is Linux. The main function of this software is to predict the password. Uh, so now I have the main, the main function of this software. So if I read it, I can uh, predict what is the password. Here, svar1 equal the length, the length of argv argv is, is the uh, user input so if the length equal 10 characters then we will check if the user input the fifth index if the fifth index equal add then uh, print nice job so that way we cracked the software so if you provide 10 characters, the fifth character is add, the, your password, it will be right. For example, if you provide 1, 2, 3, 4, add 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, your password, it will be correct. In the coming videos, I will be solving more complicated programs and slowly we will become professional in this domain. So stay tuned with me. So thank you so much for now. Uh, for watching this video.
I hope you subscribe to our channel and uh, you uh, follow us in the next coming videos.